Hello, good day everybody. My name is Akin Fish and um, I hope you've subscribed to my YouTube channel. You want to like it, you want to share it with people, please feel free, alright? So today I'm going to talk about sinking feed versus floating feed. I've seen um, a couple of questions like that in my comment section, so I'm going to just do that, alright? So what I have here, don't forget, I'm not promoting any feed. I'm not a marketer of a feed, so I'm not mentioning any name, alright? I just want to talk about your choice between a sinking feed and a floating feed. So what I have here is sinking feed um, on my right. You can see them. They are always um, pelletized like this and straight and long and they sink, all right? And then what I have here is floating feed, all right? They are usually rounded like this, all right? So yeah, good. So I've shown you the examples. Now let me tell you the advantages and disadvantages, all right? The advantage of the floating feed is that once you put your feed inside water, it floats on the top. So you can see your fish as they come to hit them, all right? And that way you can know if your fish is sick or if it has bloated tummy or you can observe the feeding, feeding patterns of your fish. However, um, the disadvantage of floating feed is probably, it's probably just a little bit more expensive than sinking feed, all right? Now let's talk about the sinking feed. Of course, the sinking feed is feed that once you put inside water, it sinks. Now there is a thinking that um, because it sinks, it gives your fish more weight. I don't think it is founded by science. I think it's just it's just um, it's just a myth because I've tried it. I've used both sinking and and floating, and I think we probably get the same um, the same weight gain. Now we're not talking about FCR here. I'll do another video to explain about FCR to you. All right. So um, the challenge with sinking feed is that you don't know when your fish are finished eating. That is why I always advise that only one person should feed a, a batch of fish or a pond of fish. That way, the person will know when the fishes are eating and know when the fishes have reached their food because he feeds them every day. So it's like a relationship. Do you understand? He already understands the feeding pattern of the fish. He will know that they've eaten enough, all right? Also, juxtaposing them, we have both eating ponds and fish and mobile fish ponds on this farm. You can see the mobile fish ponds behind me. Most times, it's good for you to use a sinking feed when, you're, when you have eating ponds because it's a large body of water. And so your water is not easily dirtied by the sinking feed but if you are using a floating feed then you probably want to use floating feed in, in um in concrete ponds mobile ponds and stuff like that however you can still use your sinking feed if you are patient in feeding that means you carry the quantity of feed that you know that they eat and then you you know release it gradually maybe a good way to know the estimated volume of feed that your fish will eat is that if you use floating feed and you see that they eat one bag in a meal when you switch to sinking feed, you now know that, oh, okay, you can use one bag and they should be, you get 15 kg, 15 kg. The most sinking feed are actually 25 kg bags. You know where most floating feeds are 15 kg bags. So after like 10 days or after like two weeks, you can use another floating feed again and see the estimates of, oh, they are not eating two bags. Oh, great, that's 30 kg. When you are not using sinking feed, you also increase that volume to 30 kg because marginally fish consumption increase almost every two two weeks or every defeat patterns all right now one of the problems of sinking feed is that people think that it dissolves the moment you put inside water because it sinks all right so the simple test for it is what we're going to do today um i'm going to put um the sinking feed i'm just going to get water from our fish pond here yep and then what we're going to do is we'll put um some piece of the sinking feed all right, we'll put it in here and then you just put the water in. All right, so yeah, thank you. Um, you, you will leave this in a place for five minutes or 10 minutes. All right, and then um, after 10 minutes, you will shake it. If after 10 minutes you see that it dissolves, it has dissolved after 10 minutes, you then know that oh, okay, you must be feeding your fish and you must be eating it immediately. However, most fish, sinking fish feed, if they are well done by reputable companies, um, at least it should hold for at least five minutes. So don't have that fear that, ah, because you are just putting the feed and it's just going down, you just think that, ah, your feed is dissolving, it's not dissolving, all right? So this is a very simple test you can do for it. Just put the water, put the feed inside water and then leave it for five minutes. After that, you shake your bowl. You discover that they are still strong. So you know that when you put it inside the water, it's actually still strong and they are eating it. So yeah, um, what is now your choice? Now the choice is that um, averagely, let me use facts and figures, I'm a businessman, all right? Um, averagely, the sinking feed right now in Nigeria um, is about 9,000 Naira for a 25 kg bag. 
kg bag is about or floating fee is about six five seven thousand yeah. so when you juxtapose the prices you discover that you get a cheaper quantity per kg for sinking feed so if you've got 18 pounds and you are patient enough to feed why not i think you should give it a try all right so yeah once again my name is akin fish it's been nice talking to you if you have any other questions just drop it in the comment section i will answer all the questions with practical tips from our farm all right so like and subscribe and you can also share the video yeah bye bye